Are you one of those drivers who are okay driving forward, but then don't know which way to turn the steering wheel when reversing? If so, then this video is for you. In this video, we are going to learn how to steer when reversing. Hello and welcome to Signal Driving School YouTube channel. My name is Chris and I'm a driving instructor at Signal Driving School. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we release new videos. You can also check us out on Instagram, Signal Driving School Australia. Part one, the approach. You don't have to lose confidence because you have a hard time figuring out what side to turn the steering wheel when reversing. In fact, many new drivers have the exact same problem. They think they need to turn the steering wheel in the opposite way because the car is in reverse. However, thinking about it this way creates a lot of confusions and most of the times makes reversing harder than it should be. So how should you be thinking about it? Well, the trick is to think about where you want the rear of the car to go. Here are some simple steps. Step 1. Ask yourself this question. Do I want the back of the car to go to the left or to the right? Step 2. If you want the back of the car to go left, steer left. Step 3. If you want the back of the car to go to the right, steer right. Step 4. If you are reversing the car out of a tight space, for example out of a garage, you need to monitor the front of the car as well and use step 2 or 3 accordingly. For example, in tight spaces, if you want the rear of the car to go to the left, you need to steer to the left. However, by steering to the left, the rear of the car moves towards the left and the front of the car moves towards the right hand side which means that you might scratch the car. Also in this case, you might need to adjust. Sometimes it's even better to move forward and start again to avoid scratching the car. However, don't worry if it gets to the point where your supervisor needs to assist. You will get better at reversing in tight spaces with practice. Let's demonstrate how to steer while reversing using examples. Example 1. In the first example, let's say that we want to reverse the car out of a car parking bay. First, we select reverse, then carry out necessary observations. We then need to ask ourselves this question. Do we want the back of the car to go to the right? or to the left. If you want the rear to move towards the right, you will need to steer to the right. It's also a good idea to use the right signal to alert other car park users. What if we want the rear of the car to move to the left? Do we turn the steering wheel to the left or to the right? To the left of course. You want the rear of the car to move towards the left, so you will need to steer to the left. Again, it's a good idea to signal left as we want to alert other car park users about our intention to reverse to the left. Also be careful if there are cars parked next to you. You need to reverse straight first before turning the steering wheel. If you steer too early, the front of the car will hit the car on your side, so it's always recommended to straighten the tires when parking. In the second example, let's say we want to do a 3.10. First, we put the car in drive, put the handbrake down, signal right, and carry out necessary observations. When safe, we want the front of the car to move to the right, so we full lock the steering wheel to the right while moving to avoid dry steering. We then select reverse gear, carry out necessary observations. We want the back of the car to go to the left, so we steer left while moving. You want to be moving to avoid dry steering. Finally, we want the front of the car to go to the right, so we signal right and turn the steering wheel to the right, since we want the front to move towards the right. So remember, if you want the back of the car to go to the left, steer left. And if you want the back of the car to go right, steer right. If you are not sure, pause and ask yourself this question. Do I want the back of the car to go to the left or to the right? And then from there, you should be able to figure it out using the simple steps mentioned in this video. 
To become a pro at reversing, you want to do a lot of practice. You can also watch this video multiple times so that you get the concept in your brain. That's it for today. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we release new videos. You can also check us out on Instagram, Signal Driving School Australia. If you are doing a driving test soon, I wish you the best of luck. See you in the next video.